Hello, a YouTube, and a welcome to another rendition of the Duo Q today. Ranked Joust Slammerooski. Uh, today, we are playing some Hercules for you guys. Uh, it was a first pick, Amus and Cobb. So, I decided to whip out Hercules, who is a infamous, infamous AMC counter. Uh, maybe not infamous, but he is among one of the best at killing the bee, the bee man. There are a lot of other options open. I could have picked Amaterasu. It would have been a pretty safe one to go because she's pretty fast. He gets 30% movement speed from his hive. I get 30 or 21% movement speed from my Ama one. But we played plenty of Ama for you guys. I was kind of looking at playing like Kakolin, Guan Yu. Nike actually was another option. Sun Wukong would have worked. Uh, or Hercules or Tyr. Tier probably less so out of all those. Or Sheva. Those those were the options that I was looking towards. But I think I'm going to whip out the Hercules here. Hopefully be able to abuse my mobility with Breastplate of Regrowth. And Winged Blade from the Warrior build video just the other day. So we'll see what we can do. They did pick a Jing, which is going to throw a little bit of a spanner in the works. Uh, we got Rush wins on our team. We randomly rolled the Rush of the winner who plugged his stream in the lobby. Cool. You guys should check him out. He's a nice guy. Find some per Shanthony, it would seem. I'm not usually not a big chatter, but let's be nice, guys. Let's be nice. We'll keep it to a minimum, though. All right, so we do have this hunky leaf skin, courtesy of Cody. If you guys know who Cody is, great guy to play smite with. Let's get this dub ski. All right. He's got the energy. All right, they've got an AMC and presumably double guardian comp. Um, not really sure why a tire band Ama and Achilles, but we'll take it. Uh, here are the enemy bands in case you guys are interested. They got the Amusen comp, Jing Nike comp. So they didn't even end up going the double guardian comp. I would have been much more concerned about, say, a Cerberus, a Bacchus, a Sobek, a Terra, a Fafnir. They had a lot of different control options to go. Heck, even an RDO might have been annoying. Because <laughs> I'm a solo frontline Hercules. And I'm the guy that's trying to kill the AMC. So... If they pick a lot of peel for the AMC and I'm a solo diving Hercules, a little tough for me, right? So I think actually that Uller will probably end up going like a blink here, ideally, so that I'm not a solo diving Hercules. Like I go in, they control me, and then like he gets a free path and takes the 1v1 type of thing. We will see what happens. What's up, Boca? GG or GL? GGLHF, man. I'm going to go with the regrowth here. Warrior decks. Two of these, and two of these. Oh, why am I rich? Oh, I'll go three health bots, actually. Why am I so rich? Am I tripping? I feel like I usually only get two. I guess it's because I went uh, Breastplate instead of Glad Shield, which I usually go. Um, we can go Blink or Beads. I think I want Blink just so I can get on this AMC. Horrific would also be really good. Horrific would be the safest play. Yeah, we'll go Blink. It's a hurt kind of day, isn't it? All right, we'll get all three abilities. I'm just going to play... A bit safer because I am a solo frontline Hercules. I don't think Rush Wind really plays um, tank characters, so. Probably could have seen this coming. I got two carry players on my team, and I'm probably going to be put on a solo tank. Hercules is definitely one of the warriors that can pull off a solo tank roll, though, so it should be okay. Let's we'll see what we can do here. We outclear them hard because we do have a lot of clear with our characters. Oh. Pop, sustain, clear the wave. And I can, nice thing about Hercules here is I can use my, or the bees from AMC actually to uh, stack my passive. Scammed, it's over. Oh, I dodged a Nike one, an impossible challenge. All right, so I'm just trying to put out as much pressure as possible. This guy just, oh my God. I'm just using all my potions to try and get as much poke and wave pressure as possible. Unlucky miss, though. So that we can get this purple buff, perhaps, seemingly. This guy's dashed me on cooldown for a tiny bit. Oh, 
that's up again. All right, so we should be able to get the purple off this. It's using all those potions. And I can secure. Okay. Got 30 seconds left. Would love to get it back off if I can. This is huge. Alright, and I get a health chalice, maybe? Yep. This is really big. No problem. Alright, regrowth coming up first. Like I said, I'm going to try to abuse mobility here and take down this AMC. Though, I do not want to rule out controlling the front line as a way to play the game here. Because I could definitely do that. Okay, walking into the AMC thing, getting my full Herc Passer from it. And I can't really catch him super well right now, but oh my god, a media 100 auto. He might ult this, right? Let's throw that. I'll take that. That's a good uh, Persephone ult. Really good. I'll hit zone. Once I get regrowth, this is going to get so much better, dude. But I'm just literally just throwing my weight around and letting my team get buffs and stuff. So don't do it again. He said, can I have red? He says, no thanks. Dang, tough luck for him. He's got the he's got the blue buff, you know? Inching ever closer. Do that regrowth. Just trying to farm up to that point. I have my blink to engage without it, but once I get this regrowth, and then once I get the wing blade too, oof. Gonna add so many more dimensions to the way I'm able to play this game. I'm just gonna back right now since I have enough for it. Surely I'll soak this blue buff through the wall. I'll even grab a ward. Maybe someone jumps over a wall or something and we can track them down. 30 seconds left on the rock in mid. Getting close. Winged Blade is next. They do have a nice number of slows for me to play off of to get those Winged Blade procs. The AMC Honey. And of course the Nike slows. Alright, if he's leaving, I'm leaving. Got the regrowth proc. Can walk in here for my passive from the AMC bees. My ult's up again. This guy has a second jump still. I'll throw this over here. Maybe we'll try for an earlier ish fire. Definitely not necessary, but it's an option. And that ward will help out with that. Like now would be a good time to go for it. Just right of the spawns. Oh, I thought I hit him. Wait, I did hit him. Did he just not get pulled? Am I tripping? <laughs> I'm actually pissed. I might be able to blink on him. Nah. Dang, we just have so much pressure right now. <laughs> I'm just uh, living, living my best life over here, guys. Don't worry about me. <laughs> just running around. <laughs> All right, so they have a cloak and a Thebes. All right, so I can abuse the Thebes guy. The Jing Chen is not tanky. And his ult is down. But Uller is backing. Push it in front of him. Oh, that is awkward. Well, I'll just bully him. I'm just running around missing every ability, and it doesn't even matter. So... I keep missing these rocks. I got top everything though. Looking good. Yeah, you can't get that. So it's looking like a good game to be me. Even though I'm missing everything, not getting punished. Let me take this. Certainly take this. Oof. All right, get this rock. Favorite hot pocket? I'm not well versed on the hot pockets. Couldn't tell you. Okay, T2 wing blade online. Very daffle. They go for a fire pull. They can't really do it either because AMC actually went for ability build here. I've actually been playing AMC recently, and if you go uh, dominance rush. And you go Death's Toll, you can actually solo fire giant. Relatively comfortably, right as it spawns. If you're leveling your hive. This guy is not doing that, so 
Don't have to worry about it. Kill these. Just gonna go on a hive hunt, I suppose. I need to be a little bit more um, patient with my ability usage. Kind of just throwing them out and missing a lot. And definitely uh, control myself a little better. Get some more hits out. Okay. This guy just committed a lot to get in. Doing a lot of juking too. I mean, I'll just hit him. One more rip. Huge. And we can go probably just get farm off this. Poke the tower a little bit. Guy's ult is down, not scared of him. So, yep, just continuing to throw my weight around. Get my items online. I can help him. Alright, well we trade one for one. And AMC used beads there, so... That's a win. Not a massive win, but it is a win. <laughs> I can capitalize off that, perhaps? In a little bit? Yeah. Get the rock off it. And then farm pressure, of course, is... Ever so good. Got pressure on that. I don't think AMC's over there doing this, is he? No, he's not. Okay, kill the hive. And then I'm gonna go wing blade into I think I'll go either Pridwin or uh, Spirit Robe. I think he has does he have jingle? We're about to find out. I mean I don't really care about this. Hand delivery! With Wingblade, this would be a kill, baby, because he's got no beads, so. Wingblade is coming. The AMC probably has Stinger, I want to say. Dude, there's so many things that I want a Winged Blade. Alright, go spend some money here. I'm going to go Pridwin, actually, because I don't feel like they're putting a lot of pressure on me. I could go Beads, I could go s Horrific. I'll go... Horrific. I think I want Horrific, because, um... That's just one more way that I can take beads, honestly. And the, we'll force one of them to go sprint, and if they don't, then I'll be happy. Jotuns? Nah, I don't think I'll be building Jotuns. I already built two items that don't really have a lot of, uh... Survivability in terms of, like, when I'm getting hit, I'll live longer. I have mostly a utility build, so I want to... Prioritize getting a little bit more protections if I can. There's spirit robes, mantles. More speed. Yeah, if I wanted more speed, I would go... Uh, probably something like... Oh. I'll tank this tower. I don't have a wing blade proc. It's over! Mm, I can't get him. Dang. The bees! If I had that wing blade frog, dude. Big wave, big huh. It don't matter, though. He's in there. Oh, he's trying to make a play. Oh, we're good. I'll just let him do his thing. Hit the tower. Wing blade proc. Ooh. If speedy bee. Speedy, speedy bee. All right, I could also I think I'm gonna grab some more fizz D after this. I think I'll slam like a midguard. Midguardian male, because they are a fizz heavy comp, right? Jing Chen isn't exactly the biggest damage dealing solo magical, and this guy's going glad shield probably, which is glad shield is just uh. More fizz prot, so. Or fizz damage. Lightweight baby! I don't catch him, unfortunately. 
Surely I'll get this rock dough. And now I need to wait for my one to come up. Thanks, guys. Wait, I didn't get it? How did he get it? <laughs> I pushed both of them. <laughs> yeah, this game's a scam. <laughs> I figured it out. I can also go mystical. I definitely want a fizz D item. That's all I know. That is the main thing. I'm gonna get the purple. Unfortunate. Oh, he wing blade proc me. Okay. Come and get it. That's a stinger. Alright, we're in the physical defense tab. I'm gonna get a void shield. We're a double fizz comp too. I don't really care too much about the mid guardian. I don't think uh, catching the MC is that big of a deal, actually. I think I'm actually just gonna focus on the tanks a little bit now. Because we do have a good kill tank comp. If I can, like, balance controlling the AMC. With, uh, controlling the tanks. That'd be huge. Dang. Thought we could do more there. Kind of wasted my horrific. I think I could go, uh, I could even go, like, a chin size last item. Okay. We just chilling. We should probably go for fire at some point. Oh, yeah, that's good. Oh, he's got beads. My bow! My bow! I don't know, my winged frog, it's over. I may or may not catch him. I have a wing proc up in a second. No! It's over. Oh, nice! Kills him on the way out. We definitely can go for fire at any point. Kind of just like a plane with our food type of scenario. Definitely go for it now. this guy. Yeah, I think I definitely should have gone auto attack because they're not killing me anyway. So if I can just itemize in such a way where I can kill all of them or any of them, any and all of them. Alright, so I can just drag this over here and just rock it. Yep. Rock push. Right. I'm going to get a reset out before uh, we push. I'm going to grab... Ooh. I wish I really could afford a uh, 500 pot in addition to my void shield, so I think I'm gonna do that. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm free! I do no damage. Okay. This might have been a good game to get Frostbound, dude. <laughs> Alright, so this is gonna give me a ton of kill potential. It's also gonna help out Uller's kill potential. So huge for us. We do kind of have to get to their Phoenix. And I think the team is doing a decent job surviving the front lines, but I'll try to control them here because I don't think AMC can really kill me very quickly at this point. So, pop my pot here. Just kind of beat them up. Horrific them both. That shield is tiny. Need to run at this guy. Huh, he got him. That's tough. GG, we lose. Alright, Phoenix is almost dead. I'll be able to clean this up. He popped my wing blade with his shard, or with his ward. I can save him. I mean, I... He's kind of like killing himself here. Yeah, I can't save them anymore. 
He needed to run towards our base. But, no harm, no foul. We're not going to lose anything off of this. I can get explosive for win. He's definitely just going to keep stopping my back. I could actually bait them under the tower here if they want it. Oh, couldn't make it around in time. I'll solve this wave. Screw it. Could probably catch this guy. Ah. <laughs> Alright, might be able to end off this. 50 seconds is a long time. So, at the very least, we can get the majority of their Titan. Yeah. That should be game. Good game. I'm actually so strong right now. Kind of quiet you. Kind of quiet you. I want to kill him. All right, so I think the best thing I can do actually is run the Titan around. This way none of us take damage. And should be able to just end. GG. Huge! So, definitely not the most prophetic gameplay on the Hercules there. Wasn't able to get to the AMC as much as I really wanted to. But at the same time, I was just kind of like an unkillable force that, like, it didn't even matter that I missed type of thing. So I just kind of like ran around like a little freakazoid. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, just did whatever I wanted. So that's just like something you got to be wary of if you're going to play a very tank-centric comp. Like a Jing Chen Nike type of deal. Is if you don't have like enough control to focus down the enemy carries well enough. There's probably a guy in the back line just doing whatever the heck he wants to do. And I was almost top damage. So even though I missed like a good chunk of uh, abilities, had a number of misplays. It didn't even end up mattering. <laughs> Just imagine if I was hitting everything, you know? It would have been crazy. <laughs> Thank you for the primer. A tire can kick rocks. GG, GG. Pre-made with the Euler? Yeah, I'm duo queuing with the tire. So they actually did manage to kill our uh, backliners. A little more than uh, I would have liked. <laughs> I definitely should have done a better job stopping that AMC, but... Yeah, like, realistically, what I should do is I should just run at him, push him, ult him. And then, uh, after it ends, hit him with a horrific, and then just, like, see how he responds to it, you know? He didn't build Aegis, so, like, I could actually kill him. Uh, especially at that point in the build that I was at with the 500 pot. That stinger, yeah, you're, you're going kind of fast. It is true, that nerf that regrowth got is pretty tough. Only got 20% MS. Whereas AMC's getting 30% just from his hive. So I need like both of these at the same time to uh, really catch up to you. It's just the horrific, really, that could uh, <clears throat> allow me to catch you and you have sprint. So, yeah, it was a little tough, but uh, it worked out. We were able to apply the pressure, just have more consistent damage than them. Take a bunch of the camps. That was the biggest thing is just secure as much farm as possible. Get all the rocks, get the neutral farm, and then uh, just kind of uh, win the game objectively. So like... If we're playing like that, then I don't even need to hit, like, a ton of abilities. Just to, uh, you know, focus on playing the game where you get your farm, and then you just run it down and win because this guy's level 15, and you have three levels on him. So the rest of that build would have probably been... I think I was going to go chin size last so I could have kill potential on the tanks, but I definitely could have gone, like, mid-guardian. Because focusing the AMC was definitely a valid strat. The main reason I was actually considering going... Um, Chin size there is because my tanks or my carries were actually dying to the tanks. So if that game had gone on like a few minutes longer and that had kept happening, could have been a problem. So like, you know, it would have been nice to have kill potential against the tanks too so I can help them out with that and feel impactful. But uh, yeah, there were a number of ways to end that build. More cooldown was an option through like Mantle of Discord. Suttering Axe would have obviously been my play. Nef never in a million years am I going the other Axe on Herc. Uh, Arc Druid could have been an option. Anti crit since there's a fail not there. Uh, Rune Forge is possible option, but it's really up to me. Frostbound could have been an option, which <laughs> is one more way to slow him down, so I can 
focus him harder but i do think that that last item would have been the best way to use it would have been either decide whether i want to focus on killing amc and get like a, a frostbound type or an arc druid type for more damage stone of binding something like that mid guardian or whether i wanted to go like the chin size route and kill the tanks and i still hadn't made that decision so i honestly couldn't tell you what i was going to go last <laughs> but uh yeah priority would have been upgrade summer and then figure out what i wanted there but uh, GG's, hope you guys learned something about the old Hercules, the old movement speed abuser. It was a good one. AMC, one of the few guys that can actually create that distance, it would seem. But uh, don't forget to leave a like if you did enjoy. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll see you in the next one.